Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Well, today we're going to perform another doll transformation here in my studio and this time we're going to make my most favorite blogger, youtuber, beauty guru ever and of course this is Tati. I can tell you honestly, I have been watching Tati already probably for for sure more than five years it's difficult to say for sure because time flies but anyway when i've started to watch tati i haven't even thought about making my own youtube channel really it's been somewhere <laughs> in another life in the previous life or even two lives ago and anyway things are changing new youtubers are coming and going and Tati stays and she stays in my life and I think today it's time to make her finally actually the only reason why I haven't made the Tati doll yet is because she looks already just like a living Barbie doll I don't have to do much there you know just take a Barbie doll say that this is Tati and everybody is going to buy it but anyway Today, of course, I have prepared also some Barbie dolls and we're going to do some work trying to make this Barbie to look like real Tati. I still have to do quite a lot of work today, so I better stop talking and I start working like always. So today we're going to use for this transformation this Barbie doll and you know, I absolutely hate this stiff fashionista's body you know they're not bendable I know they're probably somewhere on another planet in America or somewhere else they have bendable made to move fashionista's dolls but here in Europe no we never heard about them so for the face I'm going to take this Barbie doll and for the body I'm going to use this Barbie made to move fitness doll. So let's take these two Barbie dolls and let's put them together and turn them into Tati. So first of all I'm going to of course unbox this doll, undress her, remove her makeup, probably reroot her hair but we are going to discuss it in a second what to do with her hair. So I'm going to start working and you please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, I upload new doll repaint videos like this every week Friday and of course hit the like button if you like my art here on YouTube to support me. So time to start working. <laughs> I really love the shoes, most of the fashionistas have really nice sculpted shoes, I think. And the dress, I don't know, it's quite regular, let's remove it. And her hair I'm going to change not just because it's a little bit lighter than Tati's hair, but because of the quality of the hair. Look, it just looks like some sponge. I don't know, let's cut it off quickly. Then I warm the head up with a hair dryer to be able to disconnect it from the body easily because this heat it makes the rubber soft and the head goes easily off. And after this I can remove the rest of the hair from the inside of the head. I'm going to clean her face with pure acetone and it seems it's a more recent doll because it already has this new makeup that is extremely difficult to remove. So I will have to wrap here for quite a while today. Thank you. 
I have decided to use this pretty nylon hair. The color looks perfect to me. It's exactly the same like Tati's hair, I think. And it also looks super silky. So let's take my rerouting tool and let's fill in all these holes in her head. This is her new hair a couple of hours later. It looks very pretty, I think. So now I will add tacky glue inside of the head to keep all this hair on its place. And then I will let the glue dry for sure for 24 hours. The next day when the glue got dry, I've protected the new hair with kitchen plastic and with some masking tape and then I sealed the face with three layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. This is a must step in repainting dolls, at least if you're going to use pencils and pastels in your work, because the sealant makes this smooth rubber surface more matte and even a little bit grainy, so you can draw on it the same like you do it on paper. And then I take a reference picture of Tati and I start drawing the face. I begin with sketching her eyes, eyebrows, nostrils and lips. And I really like this look with red lips that you can see now on the reference picture, so let's try to recreate it. And I also like that Tati is smiling on this picture, because I really want to make her happy, smiling with this gorgeous red lipstick, because it really seems like she's going through some challenging times lately, and I would love to support her, to send her love, to send her some support by making this glowing and happy mini Tati doll. Then I add shadows and highlights using soft pastels and it's basically the same like contouring and bronzing for dolls. I work like always in layers and after every step of drawing I seal my work with the same Mr. Super Clear sealant. Like this I can first of all protect my work and second of all I can layer the colors like this and make quite a realistic effect.
Normally I draw lashes on my Barbie dolls because the falsies can be too big for their tiny faces. The false lashes I use mostly on Monster High dolls and on other even bigger dolls. But you know, I just cannot imagine a tatty doll without big false lashes that make eyes extremely gorgeous, you know. So now I'm going to draw just the bottom lashes and then later, after styling her hair, we will attach the falsies. Okay, now I'm quite happy with the face and we can move on to the body. And I'm going to replace this unbendable fashionista body with this amazing and fully articulated body from this Barbie made to move. Because with this type of a body my doll will look much more alive on pictures, because you know, this body it can just pose like a professional model. That's why I always replace the stiff bodies with the good ones. So now let's remove it all, the dress, the hat, because I will need just the body from this girl. I don't know, it sounds like some Ted Bundy confession. So now let's sand it slightly with nail buffers to remove the gloss from the surface and like this the paint will go better on and it will also stay longer. Then I clean it with rubbing alcohol. Spray it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant. And then I blush her body with the same soft pastels like I've already used to work on her face. Okay, now the face and the body color look kind of the same and I can move on to the outfit. I want to recreate the Tati's look from her palettes photo shoot. I think she looks so gorgeous and so elegant here and this look, I don't know, it's also so Tati in some way. It's very classy, very glamorous. So let's make this black silk dress for my mini tatty and I've already prepared the fabric and I'm ready to start sewing it.
here on her shoulder Tati has some sort of a silver string so I'm going to use this chain to hold up the dress So this is how it looks now, quite close to the original I think, and I want to complete this look with this pair of black shoes and I think they're quite a tatty style. Ok, now we need to make a palette. And for this I will start with making a packaging using my favorite Warbler thermoplastic. And I will also need a piece of fabric to connect the front and the back parts of the palette to be able to open it. And this grey one it's a regular warbler and the thin white pieces are the sticky warbler. I will need it to glue the fabric to the normal warbler. To say honestly, I haven't tried this palette yet, you know, because of the Belgian tax I cannot really order things from the States, otherwise I'm going to pay at least double, so I'm kind of hoping that some beauty bay would start selling it or something like this, then I don't have to pay the tax, or I don't know, maybe I just have to order it from the States, because I would definitely love to try this palette because many people put it in their favorites in the end of the 2019 so I kind of expect it to be a really good one So this is what we've got and now let's paint it with black acrylics. After this I'm going to add the branding on the top. I cut out a mirror out of a foiled carton and I glue it to the inner part of the palette. Ok, now let's make the eyeshadows and we need to recreate 6 different shades in 4 different textures. The first two rows I fill in with regular acrylics and later we will add a touch of very fine glitter to the second row where it's supposed to be the eyeshadows with this sequin finish. And the last two rows I'm going to fill in with metallic acrylics. They're actually meant to be used on fabric, but I don't really think it will be a problem. This is probably how they make fake versions of famous palettes in China. And here is our mini version of Tati's Textured Neutrals Volume 1. Looks super adorable, I think. And now I'm going to apply the same paint, all the 24 shades, to the doll's arm. Because you see on this promo campaign pictures, Tati has swatches on her arm. 
So let's watch these acrylics on my doll as well. Okay, I think we're done with the accessories and now it's time to style my doll's hair. And today we're going of course for a lot of volume and for some glamorous curls. Well, the hairstyle looks very good, I think, so now I can finally attach the false lashes and add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. These lashes are not temperature resistant, so I always glue them in the very end, otherwise they would not survive the hot air of my hair dryer. I want to add a touch of glossy shimmer to the inner corners of her eyes and after this we will also add a black nail polish. And this is probably the final step of our makeover today. So after this we will finally take a look at the end result pictures. So and here is my glowing and gorgeous mini version of Tati Westbrook. Mini Tati with her mini palette. I don't know, I think she looks absolutely gorgeous and of course I'm especially proud of the palette. You know, I love making tiny things, tiny accessories for my dolls out of thermoplastic, like shoes, bags. And this is finally my first makeup palette. I really love makeup, I have a pretty decent collection of it here in my house and I watch really quite a lot of makeup reviews, they really in some way calm me down. Even my favorite ASMR videos are about makeup. So I'm very happy I've made my favorite beauty guru and a mini knockoff of your palette. And what do you guys think about the today's makeover? And I also wanted to ask you who are your favorite YouTubers, not just in beauty, but overall. I could for sure discover a couple of new names, a couple of new channels. And also guys, please help me to reach Tati and to show this doll and this video to her. I'm sure it must be possible and I would be very excited and very thankful if she could see my work. I don't know, maybe I should send this doll to her, what do you think guys? I think I definitely should. So and that was my doll transformation of the week, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed it today and if so, please don't forget to support my art on YouTube with your likes and of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and I will see you already very soon next week Friday in my new doll repaint video. Love you guys, bye!